Howdy, guys, and welcome to Cliff Notes, and welcome to night number 73 of the Overnight Feed Recaps for Big Brother Season 26. We're getting so close to the end, guys. Yeah, yeah it's definitely in-game play going on at this point. Live feeds last night. You know, there's some nights where there's so many conversations going on. I have a hard time figuring out what to leave in, what to leave out, and still give a good context to what happened. And then there are other nights where I read through my notes towards the end of the evening and think, well, this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Last night was one of those kind of nights. Now, there were a few there were a few conversations we need to talk about. But for the most part, it's in summary, two things going on last night. First of all, there was a little talk about McKenzie maybe using the veto and pulling Rabina off and putting probably Cam up. Uh, just as a way to slap his hand for not winning comps. Uh, really more than anything else to build a little more trust with Rubina from, from McKenzie's standpoint. Do not think that's going to happen. Uh, that was the, some of the conversations last night. And the rest of the conversations, just people posturing, just trying to set themselves up with the other people in the house to hopefully survive next week in the final four and make it into the final three. Uh, and there, there are some of the conversations with that, that that are certainly worth talking about. So let's get right into it. But again, kind of a chill night as we wait for the veto ceremony today. So just as a reminder, uh, Mackenzie is the HOH and the veto holder. So she has all the power that, and she breaks a tie. So she's holding all the power this week. She nominated Chemo and Rubina with the original plan to send Chemo out the door uh, but the big question, uh, again, was now that she holds veto, would she stick true to that or would she do something different such as, oh, pulling Rubina off, putting Cam up? Uh, there were some discussions made with that last night. But again, at the end of the night, I think the nominations, could it be that the nominations finally stay the same? As we get to the very end, we don't have a veto use being this season. <sighs> Expect the unexpected. But yeah, I think that's going to be the case. All right, let's talk about the feeds themselves. Uh, we start off, I don't know, mid-afternoon or so. Just not a lot going on. Uh, the house guests talking about, sitting around outside in the patio area, all of them talking about who would come back for all-stars, reindeer games, etc. cetera. Uh, Quinn was mentioned. Uh, we had uh, Angela mentioned uh, for all-stars. Who was that? I think Chelsea said that uh, and compared Angela to Janelle. I'm, I'm not quite to that level of comparison yet, but... Uh, they did talk about reindeer games and all stars. They talked about different uh, reality shows and what's their favorite. Traders came up a lot. Circle, a lot of different dating shows as well. Uh, talking about dating after the show, who's going to be using their DMs to find dates and things like that. Uh, answering DMs, going on podcasts. Cam talked about wanting to do podcasts with Big Brother. Chemo was talking about wanting to do Big Brother watch parties. Mackenzie did. They wondered if there were watch parties in, in Texas. Yes, we had a watch party at your premiere. We watched y'all guys. Uh, and uh, uh, Mackenzie talking about that. There's a lot of former uh, A&M students that, that have been on the show. So she wondered about that. Yes, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be waiting for you to, to welcome you to the family, Mackenzie, when you get in. So just a lot of general chit chat. All right, we've got Mackenzie and Cam talking a little bit. Uh, Cam... <laughs> They're just giving Cam a hard time. The fact that I, I don't know if that that he timed out of BB Comics or the fact that he got beat by Chemo, or just the fact that he just doesn't win competitions playing the game of Big Brother. Uh, at one point, and I may be getting a little out of order here, but at one point, Cam and Chelsea are talking about it, and uh, I think it's uh, uh, Cam and Chelsea, uh, Chelsea and McKenzie are talking, and, and I think it's uh, Chelsea or McKenzie who says, you know, he's he's an athlete. I, I can't imagine the zip lining and running back and forth and things like that are an issue. Maybe just he just doesn't have the mental side to, to do these competitions because he just can't do it. So they're giving him our time. At this point, it's McKenzie and Cam talking. Now, remember, Cam learned from Chelsea the previous night that MJ McKenzie was contemplating putting him on the block as a pawn against Chemo because of his bad play in the veto competition and every other competition so far this season, basically. So now Cam seems like he spent the day doing some damage control over that. He's telling McKenzie that he actually was fast in the competition, uh, that he was actually blowing and going. He was going fast in this competition, but he had two signs 
not that the the spot the difference were incorrect, but he had two signs out of order that they, you know, they should have been flipped around the order of sequence. And later, Chelsea and McKenzie are making fun of that, saying, "Yeah, it's it's sixteen signs. You think you could remember sixteen signs? It's hard playing that game, BB Comics. Uh, you you know you're under the gun. You're you're being rushed. You're trying to spot tiny differences." And it's easy to overlook that you may have made a, a bigger error such as order. But yeah, he's saying I was going strong and uh, I just had two out of order. And he said that drove me crazy. I kept going up over and over looking for differences, but it was just the order. And, and that's what took so long. And he's also trying to explain he screwed up by telling everyone he took a break at the 25 minute mark or, or, or somewhere towards the end that he took a break. So he's telling McKenzie, saying, look, I took a break, but it's not like I was just sitting there with my feet up in the air. He said, I just took a break and then I backed up, looked at the overall picture, trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. I just took a break from running back and forth and trying to evaluate. So he's he's trying to minimize this this break and uh, and everything else. All right. We've got uh, him telling MJ uh, about that. He's saying, look, I, there's no comp tomorrow. I cannot win a comp tomorrow. There's nothing else to win until next Thursday, and then I will be on my game. I'm going to do everything I can can win. He said, McKenzie, I've already yelled at myself. I've wallowed an, enough uh, and yelled at my stuff, uh, self enough yesterday for not doing better. He said, it's embarrassing. My family and friends, dogs in the crib. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to win. He said, it's not that I don't want to win, and it's not that I'm not trying. I just didn't win, but I will be prepared next Thursday. Uh, he does at one point uh, ha- has been showing people his hands that he's got you know torn up his hands a little bit doing uh, doing the zip line. So yeah, I- I'll be curious to watch the competition and-, and see did he really try last HOH? Not so much. We'll see if he. Uh, or I said last HOH the the stacking of the the candies. God, it seems like a long time ago. Uh, there are certainly some comps that doesn't seem like he's tried. We'll see if he did try in the uh, the zip line competition. Uh, Cam has played himself well to make a second place finish. I don't see how he wins this thing. I, he he has no comp wins to his credit. And that's not all the game of Big Brother is about, but it's at least a little tiny bit because without wins, and McKenzie was saying several times last night, without wins, you don't have power. Without power, you don't control the game. Without controlling the game, do you really expect to win? Cam's worked his way into second place, but is that all you want to do when you play Big Brother? All right, we've got McKenzie uh, telling Cam, saying, look, you better win something and keep Chelsea and I uh, safe next week. Uh, you just better do it. Uh, so she's. I'm not going to have Rubina going forward. If if we send out chemo and all of that, yeah, you know, she's she's going to be coming after Chelsea and me. Uh, and so uh, you know, you better win something, Cam, and help out this group a little bit. Uh, Mackenzie is warning him that also he needs to potentially decide. She's saying at some point it could come down to you having power. You may have to pick between Chelsea and myself as to who you want to carry into the final two or maybe into the final three as well (laughs) she's saying you need to be prepared for that she gets a little upset because he kind of smiles and she's like well why are you smiling about that and he says well no i just i don't think that far ahead uh so i have between you and chelsea yeah no i haven't even thought about that most big brother players i'd say yeah you liar 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 absolutely you thought about with cam (laughs) maybe he has it maybe that's the because you don't have to make that decision if you never win a competition. But uh, McKenzie's saying, you better be prepared. You better be thinking ahead what you're going to do on this. All right, McKenzie is also saying uh, that she's not really planning on having one-on-ones. What's the point at, the, at this time of the game? She said, I'm not going to have one-on-ones. She said, if they want to talk to me, that's fantastic. She said, but no one's approaching me. Chemo and Rubina aren't campaigning. They aren't doing anything at all. She says, so I'm down. if they don't want the veto used on them, I guess don't come and talk to me. That's fine with me if it's fine with them. Uh, so she does mention that. Cam's saying that, that he doesn't want the veto used. He's perfectly fine just the way it is. Oh, I bet you are after hearing what Chelsea said about maybe you going up and all. So he's saying he doesn't want the veto used. Uh, McKenzie is kind of hinting around. She says, you know, I, I considered the idea of pulling off Rabina and Maybe then I'd have to put you or Chelsea up and, you know, she said, I did talk to Chelsea about it. And Cam says, well, what, what did Chelsea think about that? Kenzie says, well, Chelsea understands that it's just part of the game that whoever goes up would be perfectly safe because it's chemo going home. It's, it really would not matter at the end of the day who went up. 
So she's trying to, she doesn't say there, you could be going up Cam, but she's certainly throwing that out there a little bit. That Whoever goes up would be safe. Uh, Chelsea would be fine with if it was her. She says, but fortunately, it's probably not necessary. I don't think we even need to worry about doing that. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, and, and Cam at this point says, well, you know, just, just keep in mind, I'm due for a win at this point. Lord, if there's anyone ever due for a win, I, I guess it would be Cam. Uh, Kimo's right there with him, but yeah. <laughs> Man. And just, God, Cam just, uh, I kept thinking maybe Cam would turn into a comp beast at, at the end of this thing and surprise us all. Well, we're at the end and he hadn't surprised us yet. All right, Mackenzie is telling Cam that she probably, even though she's talked about this, she probably won't use a veto, but she has thought about it. But she still wants to talk to Rubina a little bit. She Don't call it a one-on-one, but she still wants to talk to Rubina a little bit. Uh, Mackenzie is saying that, Chemo is is just, he, he's prob- probably, is that enough encouragement or enough confirmation? Chemo's probably still the move this week. If I'm Cam, I'm saying, yeah, no, probably. Uh, it better be the move is Chemo this week. Uh, but Cam is actually saying he doesn't really care whether it's Chemo or Rabina uh, that heads out the door. But from a competition standpoint, he's actually thinking that it might be a little bit better to get out Rabina. He's thinking Rabina would do better at the competition from Cam's standpoint, you've got to have in the back of your head this idea of this girls' alliance that kept getting floated around. I can't, I, I know Cam and Chemo have not been the tightest of buddies throughout this season and all of that. But if I'm Cam, I'm thinking I'm much more comfortable getting one of the ladies out of the house right now and having two guys and two girls at the end, uh, regardless of comp threats or anything else. And he's saying, you know, maybe it'd be better to get out Rabina. At this point in time, I don't think anyone else is going to buy into that. Cam can't do it on his own. So I don't expect that to change. But he did throw that out there. All right. Eventually, we've got McKenzie and Cam. And then Chelsea uh, is talking as well. Uh, at this point, McKenzie and Chelsea are both giving Cam a hard time about his comp failure. So, yeah, let the uh, beatings continue. All right. Apparently, the hot water uh, was out. I mentioned yesterday the power was out in some appliances and some wall fixtures and stuff. Uh, sounds like the hot water is still out as well. There is a point where chemo's running the water forever and saying, yeah, I never did get hot. So I, I don't know what's going on in the Big Brother house. They, they're they ready to shut down for the season as well, I suppose. All right. They, so they've got that. We've got chemo and Rubina talking a little bit. Chemo is saying he doesn't think McKenzie's going to try to make a big move this week. She made a big move last week because she had Chelsea and Cam in her ear. Well, now the big move would be against Chelsea or Cam, but really against Chelsea. So she doesn't have anyone in her ear. As a result, Chemo doesn't think that McKenzie will make the big move this week. He's he's reading the room right on that. Uh, they are both saying they can't they can't really believe that there's any way that McKenzie doesn't know that Cam would take Chelsea uh, over her and vice versa, most likely. Uh, Rubina's pointing that pointing out saying, yeah, I'm sure she's aware of that, but she's also got to realize that. I would take you, Chemo, and you would take me. So either way, uh, McKenzie's looking at a group of two that would absolutely take each other. I think at one point, uh, they're saying, Chemo responds, says, yeah, but she can beat the two of us. Can she beat the two of them? And then later he says, yeah, I never thought of it. Maybe McKenzie wants to take people in who, who win comps just because of the game of Big Brother and all that. Perhaps so. Uh, so we've, uh, uh, we've got that conversation. All right, McKenzie and Chelsea. Uh, McKenzie is rehashing her conversation uh, to about or to Cam. McKenzie is saying that she insinuated to Cam that that Rabita might come off the block and maybe he would go up as a replacement. Uh, she said that she explained to him that it was for no, it wasn't to do anything to him, wasn't try to get him out. It was just selfishly to set herself up with her game a little bit better with Rabina, and that would be the only reason that she would consider doing it. Uh, they both are talking about Cam as much as they've criticized him. They do think he's playing an honest game and he won't play them at the end. It's, it's So he's not going to go with Rubina or Cam, Kim or anything like that. They, they trust him not to do that. It's just that he doesn't win and he doesn't carry his weight uh, in this group of three. With all the conversation that took place, finally they're agreeing that you know, probably keeping nominations the same or, or tomorrow is the best idea. You know, why shake everything up? Just keep it the same. Chemo goes up and and Cam's not mad at us or anything else. So sounds like that's the plan going forward. All right, Chelsea is saying that Rabina is weaker without Chemo. Uh, one of the reasons to get out Chemo uh, is that she thinks that Rubina will be weaker without Chemo. 
that she probably won't perform well once chemo's gone and she realizes that it's Cam and McKenzie and Chelsea against uh, Rubina. So three against one, that probably will get in Rubina's head a little bit and cause her to just not play uh, any better or play a little worse than she normally does. All right. Chelsea is again uh, telling Cam that, that she's worried he won't pull his weight next week. That Chelsea, and here's the thing, they both have been telling him, saying, look, we know that, that you're good no, no matter what next week. If chemo goes home, Rubina's not going to go after you. Uh, and if Rubina went home, chemo's not going to go after you. Obviously, we're not going to go after you. So Chelsea's saying, you're good no, no matter what next week. But if Rubina was to win HOH, it's McKenzie and Chelsea. It's us who are being targeted. So you need to win some of this stuff. We're worried about, about that from that standpoint. Now, if Rubina stays and Rubina was to win HOH, I'm not so convinced it would be McKenzie and, uh, uh, and Chelsea on the block as opposed to Cam. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I know I've said it before. I'll say it again. Once you get, some, say, Rubina wins HOH, it doesn't matter who she puts up on the block, who she doesn't put up, because at that point, it all comes down to who wins veto that gets to decide who goes home and who stays. So, Cam, you want to protect yourself, whether it's Rubina uh, uh, as HOH or anyone else, all you got to do is win that veto next week. All right, so there's, but she's saying, look, yeah, you're safe next week no matter what. It's us who have to worry about it, Cam. All right, we've got the hand, house guests in the HOH room later. They're down in the kitchen a little bit as well. Talking about baby names, they tried to come up with a different name for each letter of the alphabet, supposedly. Seems like this was maybe a little more Chelsea and, and Cam uh, coming up with some of their baby names. Uh, accelerated fast, right? Yeah, that, but all the house guests talking about baby names. Their favorites, at least I think Chelsea's favorites and, and maybe Cam's as well, are o- Ocean Rose and, and Scott. Sky Gray, don't have babies together. Uh, anyone out there listening to the show whose name is Ocean Rose or Sky Gray, uh, uh, full apologies. I'm sure you're incredible people and, and your names are, are certainly unique. But uh, yeah, uh, Ocean Ocean Rose and Sky Gray. I guess uh, I guess Ground Dirt or Ground Brown was Dirt Brown was 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 not available, right? Uh, so yeah, actually they're not bad names. I just I'm, I'm more into the traditional. I, I'll just leave it at that. But I think. More power to you. All right, we've got Chelsea and McKenzie talking. I feel like that comes off wrong. I am fine with with any name that you want to name your kid, except maybe Adolf. Uh, or, uh, yeah, we'll just stick with that. Any other names, you're good to go. But Boss Hog approves. All right, we've got Chelsea and McKenzie talking about uh, not you. And apologies to anyone named Adolf out, out there as well. I'm just digging the whole bigger and bigger. All right, Chelsea and McKenzie talking about not using the veto this week. Uh <laughs> again uh chemo would be the target uh, they hope that cam wins the next hoh uh wondering what they can say to rubina explaining why she, i feel like i'm just repeating these conversations over again uh explaining why she's going up while also getting rubina to protect both of the next week how can we do all of this if we were to pull rubina off now they've already decided they're not but it just continued if we did pull her off how could we spin that to get her protect us uh the following week McKenzie saying, look, we've already decided. I'm just going to explain to her that uh, it, it's best for her game. She, We couldn't have any funny business from her. You know, if I pull her off, that's what I would explain. If I don't pull her off, you know, she, we still have her back and all that. Uh, McKenzie's telling Chelsea that in the past, she had told Chemo and Rubina that she wanted the two of them next to Chelsea and McKenzie. She said, just full honesty, you know, I kind of made it look like I was with them a little bit. And I wanted you and me and the two of them. And I ignore cam and all of that she's i just don't want them to be trying to use that against us it was a while back and chelsea's i'm fine it's funny this stage in the game you get a lot of people because we did it during our season as well once you get to about final five or so especially final four but even more so final five it seems like people are much more willing to talk about their past gameplay and things that they did and things that they promised that may or may not have been completely true and I don't know what it is. I think it's just everyone at this stage in the game, there's less game to play. There's not as much strategy. There's not nearly these hundreds and hundreds of scenarios. I feel like people are, it's almost like you're at battle with these other people, but it's also a shared respect that everyone has made it this far. Everyone just feels this need to just take a breath and try to throw out all the things. Maybe it's just bragging. I, maybe that's what we do when we get to this point about bragging about 
what we did and how we fooled other people and all of that and just sharing the battle stories with each other. But you certainly have a lot of that going on. And, and we get a little bit of this as well, even with McKenzie talking to Chelsea about that. You've got to be careful because whatever you say could be used as part of a jury speech or as a way for someone else to build a slightly different narrative based on what they think you're going to be saying and claiming as credit and things like that. So got to be careful, but it happens every season, it seems like. But yeah, McKenzie's saying, yeah, just so they don't come to you and say anything. It, it is you know what I'd said at one point. Uh She's saying that if she was to use a veto, which they don't think they're going to do now, but if she was, she would say it was just uh, uh, j- just it was best for her game. And that's all there is to it. Uh, and McKenzie's telling Chelsea that in the past, oh, I mentioned that about Kimo and Rubina. Uh, McKenzie's thinking that uh, Cam will take them to the final two, but Chelsea's saying he can't win anything. So again, kind of a rehash of just what they talked about a little earlier that we think he's a good guy. He'll take us. He just doesn't get the power because he doesn't win the competitions. All right, let's see. We've got uh, Chelsea and Cam talking later in the evening. Chelsea, again, warning, uh, warning, that's maybe too strong a word, telling Cam that McKenzie had considered putting you up last night. I think she is saying this just as a bit of positioning, just to make sure that Cam doesn't think that he needs to resort to rock, paper, scissors, uh, when it comes to putting someone up on the block next week, if he was to win, if, if, if he was to win. Uh, again, it doesn't really matter, but a little bit of posturing here at this point in time. If Cam was to win and he had to put someone up, now he has a reason. Uh, McKenzie, nothing personal. It doesn't matter. It's all about the veto. But I do know that you considered putting me up last week, and therefore, as much as it's not personal, you're going up on the block. So I think that's what's happening here. Uh, they are worried now. There are some actual worries here. McKenzie and Cam are worried that McKenzie is trying to stay good with Rubina. And why would she possibly do that? Well, because you want to stay good with everyone. Jury management. Uh, who knows who may be winning veto and sending someone out next week. So a lot of reasons. But they're worried that Rubina might be in McKenzie's head as much as they're talking. Uh, Cam is saying that really tonight, which is now last night, uh, Rubina shouldn't be the last one to talk to McKenzie before bed. And, and Chelsea says, well, I'm going to head on up there and, and hang out as well. Uh, Cam is saying that he he's seeing that McKenzie is realizing it's two groups. It's Chemo and Rubina. It's Cam and Chelsea. And then it's McKenzie. And, and he's saying he, he realizes that she sees it as two and two and one. And so she's trying to ride the line, keep everyone on both sides happy. Chelsea saying, well, that's stupid. She just has to pick her group and move on. No, you don't. You can kiss up to everyone at this point in time and uh, and do what you can. All right, we've got Mackenzie and Rubina talking a little bit. Uh, you know, Rubina's upstairs, as Chelsea and Cam just were worried about. So Rubina's upstairs talking to Mackenzie. Mackenzie's upset that she can't compete in the next HOH. The next HOH gives you guaranteed entry into the final three. That's the importance of this next HOH. She's upset she can't compete in that. She figures that she will automatically be on the block next week, no matter who uh, wins HOH. It can't be her, and she figures she'll be an easy person to put up. Well, as I said just a second, it doesn't really matter. Once the HOH is uh, over, it's all about who wins the veto. But she still doesn't want to be up on the block. Uh, Rubina's saying that she would appreciate a heads up if it is her going home, just you know, just so I can pick the right outfit or be prepared, whatever. So she says she would appreciate the uh, heads up if it is her going home. Uh, Mackenzie is talking about choices voting this week. Uh, now, she doesn't get to vote. She could break a tie, but she's saying, you know, I actually wanted chemo to stay, Rubina, uh, and Cam to go this week. But she said after Angela's comment as she walked out, remember Angela said, chemo was my final two. Uh, she says after Angela's comment that she just got a little bit worried. And so... <laughs> Angela really didn't help Kimo one bit by making that mention. Does she realize that? Did she do it on purpose or is she just Angela playing Angela's game? I, I don't know, but McKenzie is using that as the excuse for why she would now go after Kimo as opposed to Cam at, at this point in time uh, and trying to explain that to, to Rubina. McKenzie is saying that she understands that if she and Chelsea made it to a final two, uh, that Chelsea would win. Yes, I think you are correct, uh, McKenzie. She, uh, Rubina is saying uh, that McKenzie has her vote if it comes down to a final two. 
wrong. I disagree with that. I think Rubina gives Chelsea uh, her vote at that point in time, but she's telling McKenzie that she'll have her vote. Um, now, here's another thing. Don't ever promise a jury vote to someone who may control your fate and your future because that's just more incentive for them to send you to jury. I think if anything else, I'd be saying, yeah, she's got a strong point. I Maybe I would. I, I love you, McKenzie. I don't know. I, I, it probably doesn't matter. But uh, she's saying, hey, if, if it is the two of y'all, yeah, maybe Chelsea wins. But you got my vote, uh, McKenzie. So she is trying to play nice with McKenzie as well. Uh, Rabina has said that she has her vote. McKenzie is saying that she thinks, not only does she think that Chelsea would win if it's the two of them sitting up against each other, but she also thinks that Cam would take Chelsea and Chelsea would take Cam if it came down to it, that they would take each other. Yes, yes, they would. So why in the world are you taking Cam and Chelsea to a final three when you know that you're the odd man out between those two and you know that you probably would lose uh, next to Chelsea? So with all that being said, in McKenzie's mind, her only path to victory is to be the one who wins the final competitions so that she gets to decide who to take to final two. And at that point, she cuts Chelsea and drags Cam along. And she probably, she wins at that point. But there's a lot of babies and what ifs and, and scenarios in there. Uh, yes, you, you, you're you understanding the room, Mackenzie. Now, make the big move and, and cut down those chances that, that they take each other. It's not going to happen. As Chemo said, she won't be making a big move. But... We're, we're seeing some opportunities here. All right, we've got Rubina mentioning again uh, that Chelsea had wanted Rubina to go after uh, McKenzie if Rubina had won HOH last week. So again, she just just a little reminder, McKenzie, that Chelsea may not be the friend that you think she is. Uh, if it comes down to you having to pick between me and Chelsea, keep that in mind, McKenzie. Uh, McKenzie is saying that she wants the three ladies at the end. That, that is her plan going forward. Uh, McKenzie is saying Rubina's good. I think she says, you're golden this week, Rubina. You're, you're good. She says, Chelsea's not going to flip. There's no way she'll flip and, and try to save chemo over you. And she's saying, even if Cam was to flip, I break the tie. I am not going to break a tie uh, and, and send you home and keep chemo. So you are good this week, Rubina. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, McKenzie is suggesting that if she replaced Rubina with Cam on the block, uh, she, she does have a request. She said, if I was to do that, I don't want to have to break a tie. Uh, I don't want to be the person to do it. So if I pulled you off and put up Cam, that means that you're going to be voting and Chelsea's going to be voting out chemo. You would need to vote out chemo as well. So it's a 2-0 vote and I can avoid a tie. If you're not willing to do that, then, you know, <laughs> maybe I can't pull you off the block. So a little bit of a threat or request. I am not really sure which... Rabina seemed a little confused, saying, uh, vote, vote out chemo. I, I, she never really said, yeah, I would do it. She never really even seemed like she completely understood why McKenzie was making this request. It probably doesn't matter at the end of the night because the veto has to be used, and I don't think it will be. All right, finally, we've got Chelsea joining them. As she said, she was going to go up there. She didn't want Rabina there all alone with McKenzie. So Chelsea joins them. They are all saying, Chelsea starts it off, the others are agreeing. They all want three women at the end of this thing. Uh, Rabina is saying that, that men should support the cause of getting these women to the end. The game of Big Brother isn't about cause. It shouldn't be, in my opinion. It's not about cause. It's about winning. It's about one individual out of 16 mentally, physically competing against 15 others and coming out on top at the end. Uh, and, and winning the game. It's like playing poker. You don't care about the person on either side of you. It's all about your pot, your chips in front of you, and being on top at the end. But Rubina's saying it, they should be supporting the cause. I'm saying there's 16 people, each with their own cause, that they should be supporting, and that's finishing number one. Uh, Chelsea is saying that there have never been two women at the end. Wrong, 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 wrong. Now, uh, granted, there haven't been many here in very recent seasons of Big Brother, but there have been a lot of duos at the end that were both women, but they're both saying it had, all three are saying hadn't been the case. It's going to be historic. We've got to watch out for each other. I, Chelsea at one point says, look, if I, if there'd been two women at the end, I would have known it. How embarrassing if I missed it, but there hasn't been. Do these three not realize that there have been, 
or do they realize it and they're just not saying it because it makes it that much more critical, vital, uh, more of a focus for them to get there if it hasn't happened. So I don't know if they they truly don't know or or they're just saying saying that as well. Uh, Mackenzie at one point earlier was talking about final three. She said, once you get to final three, it's all about loyalty. It's about three people walking out together at the very end. It doesn't matter about gameplay at that point. It's all about the three walking out at the same time at the end. Well, that's not the way it works, Mackenzie. Final three, the third place finisher still walks out ahead of the other two as a member of the jury. It's the final two that walk out together. But just a little correction there. All right, and with that, uh, let's finish up the evening. So the three ladies are all upstairs criticizing Cam and the lack of game that he's played in terms of competitions and such. A little anti-Cam here at the very end just to finish it off uh, and support support the women's cause. Uh, with that, guys, 3.30, 4 o'clock Big Brother time. Uh, six o'clock Houston time had to shut it down. Don't think there's any more vital conversations at that point in time. So I'm not really sure whether Chelsea or, or Rabina outlasted uh, the other in terms of being upstairs w- with McKenzie. It doesn't really matter. In summary, the veto will not be used. Watch, it's all going to change between now and, and six hours from now. Veto should not be used. Chemo will stay the target. Chemo will be going home this week. So we'll have McKenzie, Rubina, Cam, and Chelsea, and then we'll see what happens with with the HOH. Now, at one point, they did shut down. And the Big Brother announced the Have Not room is no longer. Uh, there's no more Have Nots, which we know, uh, which we figured a long time ago. The no more Have Nots. Have Not room is shutting down, uh, and as a result, uh, they went up, hung out a little bit. Now, here's here's the interesting thing: the Have Not room is shutting down. We've got finals coming up. I think the final two competition is probably going to be up in the what used to be the have-not room. During my season, it was outdoors in the backyard between Holly and Mickey. This season, I think it's going to be much more like All-Stars. If you remember, Nicole and Cody were up in a room trying to pick record albums or something. I think the final two competition is going to be in the have-not room. That's why they're locking it down, because they're going to start building that and getting it set up ready for uh, for final two, maybe final three competitions. But we'll see that room being used as part of the final comps of the season. Guys, with that, we're going to shut it down. I hope you all have a fantastic Monday. Uh, we'll see what happens in veto ceremony. I don't expect to see any huge surprises. Uh, but if so, I'll be back tomorrow morning to talk about that. Also, tonight, Cliff Notes Live. Uh, we a little, little things going on here. I'm you know, not, not in my regular location all that, but we're still going to try to do Cliff Notes Live. 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central. Come on out there with your, your questions, your opinions. How do you think the season's going to end up? Let me know. We're going we're gonna to be discussing back and forth. We'll have comments turned on, so lots of chat going on as well. Give me your thoughts and opinions. 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central. Guys, have a great Monday, and I will talk to you all either tonight or tomorrow morning. Until then, SKD 143. Cheers, my friends. Bye.